What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and this is going to be breaking news for your next update of new content coming to the Division 2. That is going to be Title Update 17 and Season 11. Now the PTS, I said uh, what two days ago that if we didn't get any word by Wednesday that we'd probably have to wait another week and well Today's Wednesday, and here we go. We have some news about the PTS, and it's starting like in two days. We get to preload it tomorrow. So I hope everyone's ready. We're going to jump into what the devs are saying, what the creators are saying, the issues that could be changed or fixed come Friday, and uh, yeah, a little bit more. I also had the director of the Division movie um, reply to one of my tweets as well, and we'll talk about that and more. But without further ado, sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter because all of this news is on my Twitter page and has been all morning. Um, I typically share it, retweet it, talk about it on Twitter before I make a YouTube video. So if you want all of that news and everything straight from the developer, straight from that content creator, whoever, uh, you can follow me at Kamikaze Von Doom on Twitter. We are about to make our way to 5,100 followers. Uh, on here on YouTube, we're about to hit 61,000 subscribers, and we are now over 16 million views. So thank you so much for the ongoing support. But all right, here we go. So earlier today, this is from Tom Clancy's The Division at The Division Game. This is their official source for any sort of news or anything regarding The Division 1, The Division 2, or The Division Heartland. Now, they tweeted this. It says, Season 11 is quickly approaching, and the public test server, a.k.a. the PTS, will be up and running this coming Friday. That's right. We're going to have PTS videos galore on this channel. Don't you worry. And then it says uh, it'll be on January 13th, uh, approximately 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, you can change that to whatever, you know, 5, 5 a.m. Pacific Time. All of that jazz. Now it says preload will be available tomorrow, January 12th, um, at, what's that, about noon Eastern. And then patch notes to follow. Now they usually do the patch notes the day that the PTS comes out, so I would probably assume Friday. Okay. Now one of the very first comments we see, where is it? Uh, maybe not. We have to scroll down. <laughs> Oh, man, we have to scroll down for the comment that I wanted to focus on. Ah, eh, whatever, it's not even here. But anyway, someone was talking about PvP, and um, Daria and a few of the devs were replying to that, basically saying that the patch notes will come out on Friday, and you can see whatever PvP changes are coming with it. So, what did the developers say? Here is from Morton Ryberg. This is the product director for The Division 2 at Ubisoft Massive. And he says, one step closer to concluding year four. Hope you will help us balance the new items. So bring your feedback. Remember that Friday, uh, I and a whole bunch of others in the PTS will be testing out the new weapons that we know nothing about the new gear that we know nothing about, new gear set, brand set, new exotics, new named items, and new named weapons. And we know nothing about any of it. So this is going to be very exciting because they've been very hush-hush about Season 11 and what's to come. So this is going to be very exciting. I hope you have your notifications on because Friday is going to be lit. All right. So that's what Morton said. Now, before we get on to what PvP changes or anything uh, we should expect on Friday, let's talk about the Division movie. So, Rawson Thurberg, uh, Thurberg, he is the director that is in slot for the Division movie. He's been um, slotted for that. He took the reins and was very excited about that. I mean, I think he announced that probably a year, year and a half ago. And he was saying how he and his buddies were division, um, like, addicts. And that they would play it all the time. And then when the Division 2 came out, they played it all day, every day. 
and they just loved it. He was talking about how he was going to put the skills into the movie. He even told me, I don't know, like a year ago that he was going to put Rick Velassi in the movie, obviously, because Rick Velassi is a big, you know, part of uh, the Division uh, lore and the Division community. Now, it's been hush-hush from him for nearly a year regarding the Division movie. He said that it's been, you know, it's been going back and forth with rewrites for the script and that they're still in pre-production and that, you know, not, nothing's really gone out of it. Now, since then, we have heard that Netflix has dropped the Division movie and that it's kind of in limbo. The movie is not canceled. It's not, you know, never going to happen. It's just switching financial hands, if you will. Because remember, Netflix had to drop a lot of their IPs because of this previous year's uh, performance for Netflix. So they're adding, you know, advertisements to their streaming platform. They're getting rid of a lot of their IPs and they're just trying to make as much money as possible. So a lot of these people are flocking to these different streaming platforms. And you can see that right here, he's been picked up by Paramount+. Plus. Now, we also heard things about uh, Tom Clancy's The Division movie going over to Amazon because Amazon has a lot of success with the Tom Clancy titles, whether it be that movie with Michael B. Jordan or that TV show with uh, John Kwasinski. I'm going to butcher that name. Anyways, so we might be able to see The Division movie go to Amazon, but for right now, it is not going to Netflix. All right, so anyways, he posted this about him doing a Dungeons & Dragons um, series for Paramount+. Plus. And, of course, I had to reply with something about The Division. I said, congrats on the project, man, but, uh, you know, I have to mention the Division-sized elephant in the room. And then that's all I said. I mean, nothing more. And then he replied, watch this space. So I guess I we need to follow him for any updates for The Division movie. But, I mean... It's he, he's still not saying never, so we'll see. As far as I'm concerned, I think the movie is in limbo. Okay, now for the updates for tomorrow or for Friday, not tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow you will be able to preload the update. So let's start all the way to the right. Um, fix live. Let's see if there's anything new here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These are all the same. Okay, and yes, all right, so these are all the same. So let's go into Fix Ready. Uh, these have been in Fix Ready for months, just so everyone knows. Um, doo -doo -doo. In fact, they haven't touched it since December, but they started this back in July, and this still isn't fixed. Okay. So it says um, their last update for December. Here's the update right here. December 16th. It says the rework for the Shrapnel Trap is planned for title update 17. So expect uh, Friday we will test out the Shrapnel Trap in PvP and see what's cooking. Uh, next up we have the Sledgehammer Talent. That does not say slated for title update 17. Moving on. Global Directives. Global Directives should not be active during raids, so they are changing the Global Directives to not work in the raids, and expect this to directly impact the classified assignments as well, because this bug is also working for classified assignments. Uh, let's see, next up, I'm going to look for all the pink tags, because if it's pink, it says planned for whatever. So it says uh, the focus talent will work for the Dr. Home and O'Carroll. Okay. Next up, doo -doo -doo, the scope mod for the O'Carroll can be applied to any weapon. Um, and I guess they're reverting that. Anything else? Boop -ba -doo. Trying to find one with a pink. There we go. Low skill tier players can no longer jam against higher skill tier players. Jammer level should be the same or higher. Plan for title update 17. So that is Friday. 
All right. Do, do, do. Oh, this is going to be the other thing we're going to test on Friday. Exotics otherwise exclusive to specific content will be added to the dark zone. Oh, my God. We'll see if the, we can get an eagle bearer to drop. Wish us luck. Um, let's see here. Expertise. So it would have to be a dark pink little icon. Okay. So that's it. So as far as the dark pink icons, those are for title update 17. So exotics going to the dark zone that were um, exclusives. Um, jammers will now work on par or better for, you know, against other players. Let's see here. Global directives will not be added to the raid anymore. The focus talent will be fixed for the Dr. Home and O'Carroll. And you will not be able to um, put the O'Carroll, um, what's that, attachment, the scope to other weapons. And then let's not forget about the shrapnel trap. Okay. Everything else will be, you know, on par with uh, normal season stuff. So we'll have... Uh, New weapons, new gear, new brand set, new uh, gear set, new named items, new named weapons, and new exotics. And remember, I will be covering all of that and more on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter for all the latest and greatest news regarding the Division universe. But with all that said and done, everyone, I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Have a good day. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace.